Thank you. Are you talking about the whole box then? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to get it like 25 cents though. Alright. If the car uses oil, you may not want to. No, okay, no. Just the letters. <laughs> I'm gonna get these three. Okay. And then I'll put them in a the bag for you, is that right? I'm gonna th I'm just gonna throw them in this one. Okay, all right. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything else that I saw. Oh look at the pumpy can. Got some cute stuff. Yeah. Well I try to update it um because you know there's a couple people that you know even come over and they all the time. Come over. Yeah. So I always try to Make sure I update there. Yeah, some of us like digging, huh? That's okay. <laughs> All right, I think that's good. Oh, what's this guy? It's a pretty umbrella. Oh my gosh, I was just looking. At it. <laughs> I have a lot of them. I I get them every time I see them because oh. I love them. Um, and I think this is actually a parasol. You know, made yeah, to be but look at in the, the sun. It's so neat. I love it. I have some of the uh, Lucite ones, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, those, that's a neat collection. I hope there. you don't mind I was filming some of your jewelry. Oh, that's okay. I have a YouTube channel. Oh, you do? Cool. Yeah. 
What do you do on YouTube? The umbrellas? Uh, no, jewelry. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Into like thrift shopping. Oh, okay. And yard sales and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I love vintage stuff. I do too. Do you? Yeah, that's. So what? Oh, funny. Yeah. Yeah, that's why people usually get into doing this Thank stuff, you. right? Is because mm -hmm. they like like the vintage stuff. Well, you know what I was doing? I was um, I was just collecting a couple pieces, you know, that were older and you know just neat, you know. Yeah. So I love looking at them. So then, you know, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna try to go to this auction because it said jewelry, and then all of a sudden I started, you know, there was like maybe one piece or two pieces that you in wanted huge box you know and you have to put on this whole box and i'm like i love the two i'm gonna take this too okay i love the two i don't know why i'm handing it to you oh that's okay because I'm, <laughs> I'm just throwing it in my bag anyway oh i'm gonna put it do you want me to put it in a little bag here i got these here i try to recycle these because i change these a lot oh nice so, yeah yeah and then, um, did i did I give you the money? You did. And oh, I okay. gave you five back. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but then I owe you for the necklace, right? Yeah, that's okay. it. <laughs> that's okay. That I'm like, I'm losing party. my mind here. No. It's too early for me. That's why. Oh yeah, I love them. Watch people, you know, you don't see them a lot, you know, but occasionally you'll see people walk by and it's like, oh my God, where'd you get that? And they say, oh, I got it at a sale. All right, I'm lying. I'm going to take this one too. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to give that to you. Um, I'm going to give that one to you. I'll put it in a bag um, okay. for two since you bought a few. Okay. <laughs> Here, I love the them. blue stones. They're pretty. Yeah. I don't have a lot to match. I have like a bracelet that my husband bought me in silver. Oh, and I really? have a lot of those in gold, but yeah. Nice stuff. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Have a great day. You too. Okay. What? I like the umbrella. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I get burnt really quick. I, I wanted to buy a, we had an umbrella hat at the Springle auction. Oh. And my husband's like, you wear that, you ain't sitting by me. Like, Come on. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't have to be deal with being burnt like that then. Came back. If you would have came back when he was gone, I would have given it to you for 20 bucks. Oh. <laughs> I did that by Well, accident. I'll come back when he's not here. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you can hang out. Just get more money. <laughs> yeah. How's Sorry, man. Good. I like your umbrella. Thank I you. I thought she was Sierra at first when she first saw it. Oh, I my God. Right. <laughs> I thought you were a friend of mine. I was like... Especially with the... Yes, yes, in yeah. the sunglasses. <laughs> now this thing, uh, do I have to super wind or something? I would, I, would definitely, I would definitely super wind it. You want me to do that? Yeah, I can. That's cute. Yeah. Alright, where is my turn box? Don't ask you? Don't ask me. <laughs> You're a trooper though. <laughs>
this is long before gold went crazy. Uh, he had a, a tinker gold ring, man's ring, with a nice setting, but a nothing center center. Mm -hmm. the chip and dip set is? 40. Pretty. Yeah, that's brand new. Yeah, I can tell. It's nice. <laughs> I checked the forecast. I wanted to make sure. Hot, yeah. hot, hot, hot. That's why I'm wearing an umbrella. This I've one's not. A lot. Sheet. My tomatoes are big, but they're... Already? Oh, they're huge, but <laughs> they're green. Oh. Like, somebody likes the green tomatoes. Right. Uh, I gave her, uh, my sister lost them to fry up. Mm. Fried green tomatoes, $2 a bag. Awesome. Some nice stuff in there. Now, why do they call it fried? Yeah, you know, we're talking like, this is very, very nice, you know, part of the Okay, this one, this one has a uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's the beetle. The, the beetle book came out. How's it going today? Well, it's a little bit slow, but then I expected it. In the morning, it always is. Yeah. Yeah. You around nine nine thirty, it picks up pretty good. How about the Joe Namath? Do you have a Joe Namath one? It's nice and cool in here at least. Yeah, and I got the fan going. It helps, I bet. It uh, Yeah, it does. Well, they said the morning should be decent. That's the way they categorized it, I guess, is a good word. But they did say that it's uh, like kind of a watch in the morning, and then the morning it comes the afternoon. And yeah. This one just does not want to stay in. Same one keeps popping out. Oh, it's starting to get to get kind of unbearable. Just because they're, you know, inexpensive. Well, that's part of it. H&P, Hunt and Pack Method. <laughs> Do you guys mind if I, uh... Oh, take it. Be our guest. I have a YouTube channel, so people like to see oh, cool. all the stuff everybody oh, has. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, please. Take as many pictures as you like. Don't shed 180. There are some local people who watch. Cool. We're here every Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, I usually talk to the other lady. Oh, Lynn. My, my, my sister-in-law, yeah. Oh, okay. My sister, yeah. She's out gallivanting. Shopping? Yeah. Herself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You read anything particular? Yeah, a little bit of everything. Okay. Oh, it's all marked by category and everything's half price marked inside the first page. Alright. You guys have and a lot of cats them. today. Right. Oh, yeah. yes. If it's over $5, it's 50% off. Runs and spurts, sometimes cats, dogs, and, uh, but she does have a lot of cats. My husband collects the cats. Oh, okay. oh, cool. 
He's got a whole armoire full of cat brooches. Oh, that's nice. Cool wear. Is it free? It's free. It's free. It's comfy, let's put it that way. It's not bad in here, it really isn't bad. That's right. Actually, it's not bad that I like the stuff in that sun and I swear it's like 20 degrees everywhere. We were at a ball game yesterday at Trog 30 and the whole, this whole side of me is crisp. Uh, I believe it's early floor. She's got the right idea of the umbrella. Yeah, so I don't burn up. Yeah, that's the best idea for this one. I did. I Slather and sunscreen and What a good barker you guys have. Oh yeah. And then he has the PA system. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And maybe next year a cold water machine. <laughs> Come on in. Join our sale. Five bucks is fifty percent off, and we got cool air and shade free. <laughs> How do you have a voice laugh when you leave here? He loves it. He's got the voice for it. He lived for a day, he comes here. To... In fact, we got a professional writer going to write a script for him. Nice. <laughs> You know who all those funny. writers are, though, Jerry. Tell me Is he ever going to write it for yeah. him? <laughs> I'll go give him a piece of paper and a pen. Yeah, right. <laughs> 
No, we, we liven it up while we're here. It's not boring. There's a lot more jewelry inside. Yeah, I saw. Come on in. The sale's on. This is my haul from the flea market. Um, so, these are the things that I have got. I got my sunscreen in there too because I didn't really get that burnt, thankfully. So, I bought this for, I think, $2. It's not sterling or anything, but I have one of these scarab bracelets and I like the, the scarab necklace. And I think I got this and let me see this other thing for two for five dollars, both for five dollars. So this is a really neat brutalist style um, brooch and it is signed art. And um, you can see how it's held together here. Um, I thought that was really neat. And then this is a barrette. A Lucite barrette, the clear one, and I thought that was neat. I don't see these very often, so I just thought that was cool. And again, so those were like two fifty each. I think this was like two bucks. I thought so. This is a good lesson. I thought that you know a lot of times when you see this little thing there. You think it's going to be sterling, but this one is not. So I wouldn't have gotten that if I would have checked more. Um, lesson learned. I think these were the ones that were $2 each. There were two vendors that had things that were $2 each. And this is an older JJ pen. And signed right there, JJ. Um, and it's like a starfish. It almost looks like there's some enamel coming off there. There's a little bit of wear, but, um, sometimes it's just the finish. But, let's see. Also, two bucks. I thought this was really neat. It's what the back looks like. It is not signed anywhere. But I did not see any stones missing. And I just kind of like the look about it. So, grab that. This one, I probably also, I don't know. I probably also wouldn't have gotten. It's signed Avon here. And I, I saw it was signed and there were a bunch of people digging in. And uh, I like the enamel pins. So, it is a nice enamel pin. There's some loss there, but it's kind of hard to see when it gets cleaned up. Um, these were six bucks. I thought they were cool. They almost look like paw prints, but I'm pretty sure they aren't. Um, and they're marked 925 and J&K, I think. But I thought those were nice. This one says Good Kitty. And it's got the kitty licking his lips. I don't think this one's marked. It's not marked. But it's cute. So I got him that. That was marked five. And then I don't do mouse work. And this one is Dingcraft. But I thought that was really cute. So I gave her $10 for both of those. For the two of them. This, I think this was on one of the ones that was like, the one that was like three for $5. Um, I don't have this one. Sarah Coventry one. Um, it's kind of an iconic red, white, and blue Sarah Coventry pen. This one, 
Uh, I have that Hobe um, necklace that looked like this. This one came with pictures in it. So you never know when you open a locket if they're going to have pictures or not. I always find that kind of funny. I love the um, design on it. And this was $3. So it looks like, you know, it could store a brooch or something in there um, for somebody to buy something nice or you know to take pictures in it um that may be what i do just to take the pictures because it's nice um i hadn't opened it but i actually kind of like it better open i like the uh kind of the devil strand look and i have a bracelet that will match this. It sounds like glass. Um, but yeah, I thought that was pretty. I think that was two dollars. But this one, it's pretty. It's hummingbird, and that one does is marked sterling, and then this S um, mark. And, uh, that is what the clasp looks like. So it's kind of got one of those older style clasps on it. I don't think they went together. Um, but I like them separately. I may put that on the newer chain because I think the pendant is newer. So there was this in there. It's marked made in we uh, Germany West. So I thought that was really pretty. One of the Avon breast cancer pins in there. This is a pendant. It's pretty. It's marked M. A little angel. There's nothing missing on the angel. It's not marked or anything. So I go with my bag of angel type stuff. This has a couple missing. It's not marked or anything. So I may use it for the rhinestones. And this, I think, to mind my, I totally messed up my nail polish, so I had to undo it all. So, there's a little bee, or a fly maybe, I don't know. And then, I got this one, which I will probably also give to my husband, because he apparently likes big cats and little cats. This one's not marked. But it's pretty neat. I thought that was cool. And this one is sugared. Like I said, I apologize to you guys. But it is not marked. There's this one. And, you know, there's a teeny tiny bit of enamel loss but it's still really pretty so you know for two dollars for all of them that wasn't a bad deal this was two dollars which um the boxes are always nice to have too so but i'm convinced that this does not go on this necklace if you look at the pendant, it's like a lavalier pendant. You can kind of tell that it does not look like it goes. Like, look how pretty and delicate that is. It looks, and it's got that kind of rosy color, what the back looks like. There are no markings, but, um...
Actually, maybe there is. It looks like there is. So it looks like looks like it's marked 10K there. 10 carat, and it almost seems like. It says something else. Eco? But yeah, this is so pretty. I could just tell by looking at it that, um, and these have foil stones in them, so they're like the paste stones. Um, the green one doesn't, but I'll tell maybe I'll take it into, I had a couple things, uh, fixed that I'd found in jewelry jars, and I'll show you guys how my jeweler, because I'm friends with somebody who owns a jewelry store, so I took it into her, not getting a deal or anything, she just charging me the normal price, but, um, she's kind of interested in the things that I find, so I'll bring that in and see have them look at it so that's awesome one of the finds of the day second find of the day there's this bag here it was two bucks I didn't even know what would uh, what else was in there like all junk but I will uh, that's kind of cute oh that is kind of cute it's left in hand painted I don't see any chips or problems or anything. That's kind of cute, right? Little ducky. Lufton. So that was $2. This guy. This guy will keep. He's cute. Grandpas have warm... Warm my heart. Hugs. Grandpa's hugs warm my heart. It's kind of cute with the thingy. So this will pro I'll probably donate. I'm like, is it supposed to be a kid's toy or something? Like, because this was open like this. And you could see it in that bag. But, I was like, that is so pretty. And I saw the prongs so a lot of this older stuff is prong set and it is signed inside inside here uh, PS Co and uh, I can't remember, recall what it's what it's called but this is and it looks like it's been repaired here and it doesn't really, it doesn't really move too much when you have it on. It does seem to hold pretty well. But I looked this up on Etsy, this one. Let me bring you in the, in the light. Let's see if you can see it a little better. Probably not. <laughs> Is like I said, really hot out. So this is a nice one. You can see it there. So it's like gold over gold and rhodium plated over something. You know that's not not sterling or anything, but and it's got the hinge right there. So this is so pretty. And I saw some going for. Um, like two hundred dollars, uh, two hundred and fifty dollars, um, anywhere between those. And again, probably won't get the top dollar because I think that it's been repaired and I don't know. And I'm not gonna sell it anyway because I love Art Deco jewelry. So this is a beautiful Art Deco bracelet that I got in a thing for two dollars. Let me show you this because it really shines in the light. Let's see if I can kind of show you. 
That's really pretty. I got was, it looks like it's got a start of a crack, but really not that bad and some crazing, which is also not that bad. Um, her little eyelash is a tiny bit missing over there, but um, really not that bad. They were asking $25 and she gave it to me for 20. It's not marked. Um, but it's in pretty good shape. So I am going to put her on my shelf with my others. Um, yeah, I didn't see too many problems with this one. So I really thought it was cute. I probably could actually like use some <laughs> eyelash glue and fake eyelashes to fix that if I really wanted to. All right. Well, everybody thank you for watching this is princess casserole please like subscribe comment hit the notification bell do all the things and i will see you in my next video bye